I'm Mitch Schechter, editor of the Schechter Report, and I'm here at the Star Chefs International Chefs Congress in New York with Mike Mathis, sales development manager for Baxter. Hello, Mike. How you doing, Mitch? Good. Tell me, what brings Baxter to Star Chefs this year? Well, we, we came to uh, Star Chefs this year, and we've been coming uh, as a as a group for many years. But for Baxter, this is our second year here. And we feel that the ICC offers us an opportunity to, to meet with customers we may not be able to see throughout the year. And it's just a tremendous opportunity with the, the venues and all the events that they have going for us to really get up close and personal with these uh, chefs and other uh, people. Mike, uh, which piece of equipment are we about to look at that you've brought to this year's New York Star Chefs Conference? Well, we decided to bring the new uh, Baxter Hybrid Convection Oven. And this oven is a unique oven because it offers the, the chef or the operator different uh, applications to be used within the same piece of equipment. For example, we actually have, this is a convection oven, but it has steaming capabilities in it so we can do bread products and we can also do food service products. And it gives the chef a lot of different flexibility so he doesn't have to have some of the other equipment that he's typically had to have in his, in his kitchen. What might it replace? Well, it could replace a combi oven. Uh, it could also replace a steamer to some extent. It really depends on what kind of, uh, of uh, issues or excuse me, what kind of product that the customer is really using as to whether or not they can get away with using it as a steamer as well. But it's really not just a steamer, though. It's, it's more convection oven and convection cooking with, with some steaming capabilities. Are those capabilities uh, alterable? In other words, can you keep steam for different periods of time during the cooking process? Well, there are two ways to use the oven, meaning you can use it in a bakery mode where you're steaming in the very beginning of a bake cycle, or in the cooking mode or a food service mode where you're actually injecting steam throughout the, bake, the cook cycle, and you can add up to 10 seconds of steam every five minutes. So you really can get a lot of different uh, results and uh, different products that you can be. So very flexible in its, its operation. It sounds like it can do almost anything that a uh, combi steamer can do. It pretty much can. It's close to that. Uh, there is a main difference here that this is a, a price a lot uh, less expensive than a combi, uh, but it is very comparable into what a combi can do. Understood. What sort of uh, food service or restaurant operation is this best suited to, given its size and capacity? Sure, and I, that's that's one. Of, it's a great question because the fact that we say that it's a hybrid, it really has a broad reach across all different categories. Whether it's the uh, food service application, a small. Um, a restaurant or even to some of the larger restaurants out there, even uh, universities and uh, just a wide range of applications, small bakeries, kiosks, cafes, you name it. It really has the capability to go across all the different categories. Final product question, what is the power requirement? Uh, we have uh, gas or electric and we have different uh, power options, but typically it's the 208, 220 on electric and then of course it's gas or propane. Very good. Um, what would you like our readers to know about Baxter and its plans and new product development. Well, Baxter's been around a long time, and we've gone under the Hobart label, and now uh, we're kind of emerging out as just a Baxter as our own. And, and really, to the food service application out there, the operators want them to know that we're not somebody new in the market. We are new to this segment, but we've been in this industry many years, and we have the capabilities uh, to provide the options and the features and the benefits that the customer would really want to see. Thank you very much, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you.